Back guys, my name is eDogs82, and we're here to play some more Blood and Gold Caribbean. Let's do it. <laughs> so the last time that we played Blood and Gold Caribbean, I kind of messed up a quest I was doing. So the quest I was supposed to do was to woo the daughter of a Dutch governor of a town called Pomeroon, but yeah, I think I wooed her a little too good because, um, well, <laughs> I ended up getting married to her apparently and becoming governor of Pomeroon. So that ended up making me fail the mission to covertly capture the city for an English governor, and now we've created our own nation called the Thug Life Kingdom over here, and we own this town here, Pomeroon, Esperanza Plantation, and El Silencio Farm. So that's our little corner of the world. We've put our wife in charge as governor of Pomeroon at the moment, and she's recruiting men there. We've got a big garrison, almost 180 men, so we should be able to repel most attacks. Hmm. And we're over here now at a Brotherhood of the Coast province called Providence. And the reason that we are here is basically to attack it by, by sea and try and take it with our heavy galleon and our medium galleon, the Zorro and the dogs. So we have a heap of food on deck. I'm okay with our flag as it is, to be honest. We have how many crews? 77 men. Okay. We have 77 men ready to go do battle. Our character is currently level 13. He's very close to level 14. I have a musketeer's hat, old gloves, buccaneer dress, boots. Infantry broadsword, a flintlock carbine, and two bags of large bullets. So, we should be doing okay. The question is whether we can take Providence or not. But let's give it a try. If we can't do it, well... We'll all go down <laughs> in a blaze of glory, but we'll try and pull out if things get too bad. But here we go, attacking by sea. All right. So it's telling me that I can bring three larger warships in my fleet when I attack by sea. Um, what am I going to do? How should I attack this place? It looks well defended. Hmm. Okay, let's send the medium galleon forward to offload his troops. So let's press F2. There goes his man, as you can see, rowing away. My own ship, I will lead our assault and we're going to come forward and try and dodge some cannonballs okay and we're going to send the medium galleon forward to bombard the fort for us and as soon as we can get our heavy galleon to do the same we will Man, that's a lot of cannons. Oh man, the medium galleon's taken a pounding. Maybe 
maybe I won't send my heavy galleon forward. Because <laughs> it might be okay to just lose the medium galleon, lose the Zoro. But I don't really necessarily want to lose the dogs. There's a long way to row this bloody is. I need the Zoro to blast a hole open in that wall because if it can't, we can't get in. We're getting close. We're about to disembark, just like <laughs> just like D-Day, but for pirates. Oh, good shot! That sailor over on there and the Zoro just walloped like how many three four five six seven guys nice yep we've landed everybody charge use this hill as cover for now I don't necessarily want to fight these particular guys oh we can get out the dogs forward but we don't really have want to unless we have to um, yeah, we don't want to engage them unless we specifically have to. Let's come around this side, see how things are going. Looks like we haven't breached the walls just yet. Damn it. Keep firing. Come on, Zara, you can do this. The hell, that was really close to your own men. Friendly fire, bro. Ooh, my sutler killed someone? Nice. Ooh, we're doing pretty good. Let's try and shoot someone. Oh, they've got guys out here. Nice. Well, that shot... Oh, yep, I saw that coming. That shot didn't go well. Uh, let's try and dodge the bullets and come up to them and cut them. Come here. Haha, <laughs> we got him. Oh, it's getting a little laggy right here. Too much going on. Anyways... Let's reload our rifle. The Zoro has fallen. It appears that the dogs is going to have to come forward. Otherwise, we're never getting in this fort. If the dog starts taking, like, massive damage, we are so out. Kill him! Yeah, don't let him sneak up on you like that. Oh, he's not dead? That's interesting. Get him, get him, get him, get him! Stab him! Yeah! Teamwork! Colonial Lancer. Oh, hello! <laughs> you're dead. So the dogs is taking fire, but it's not extreme yet. Oh, yeah, no, you don't. I see some more targets. Oh, I missed. Oh, here's one. Oh, they're all moving over here. We must have blasted a hole in the wall. I hope so. Got him. Alright, we can rush in and come to grips with them now then. Forward, men. For glory. Oh. That was close. Oh, it appears the gate is down. 
That is good. Okay, the dogs needs to fall back. Good job. <laughs> there may be only a few of us, but we fight tenaciously. Man, we're getting slaughtered in this fight. Keep fighting, men! We will beat them! They are only pirates! Oh man, oh man, this is getting bad. I just need to keep shooting. You see me? No! Oh, you little. That's it, sword node. You can't out fight me when I'm in sword mode. Don't let them get a shot on me. Yep, this is going bad. We've definitely lost this. Run away! <laughs> no, nope, I'm down. Alright guys, we need a retreat. So, all in all, we lost um, 43 soldiers and 11 sailors. We killed 104 enemies, and we lost the Zorro. Well, that could have went better. Oh well. Let's see if we can upgrade anybody here. To anything. <laughs> nah, we're we're royally screwed at this point. Um we're a lot closer to leveling up now, but we need to go home and patch up because our men took a beating, our ships took a beating, and we're just not doing so great. But we really worked over the Providence. We only have 34 men left and almost no money, so we're going to have to raid a convoy or something. Now, our only enemies are the Brotherhood of the Coast, which is kind of funny. <coughs> yeah, we're healing up. We'll be okay. We'll be fine. And that just means we can come back and fight them again later. Do we have any men in the garrison to hide? Yeah, there's a lot of men here now. But they're all quite expensive and well trained. Which I'm glad they're well trained, but also glad they're expensive. <laughs> okay. Well, we're obviously not going to be able to get any of them. Let's take a visit to the tavern and see who is inside.
Hmm. No companions. I was hoping for a companion. Oh well. Any jobs? Ship right in need, 10 units of wood, 10 units of furniture. Nope. Manage the garrison. Yeah, we got a lot here. We don't need any. We, well, we kind of need more men, but I don't really want to pull any men out of the garrison. That'll leave us undefended. Okay, let's get out of here. And let's move some supplies around. Okay, we're going to move the salted fish over and as much meat as we can carry. So now we have supplies to go and land and help our wife who looks like she was fighting some natives. Luis, where'd you go? <laughs> I have no idea where she went. Marauders, horse bandits, or native war party. Let's take on the marauders. So we have 22 to fight against 25. This will be a challenge. Let's start the battle. And everyone, follow me. Hmm, interesting. In previous versions of the game, you could look at the map and still run. I guess not. Our Secretary of State. <laughs> they are all our, all our special peoples are right there. Um, how far away are they? Not bad, not bad. Okay, let's get everybody to charge. Our cavalry will have great advantage over their own, and then our infantry will come in and help. Yeah, go the lances. Do your job. Knock unconscious, that's okay. Oh, you killed him. Great. Alright, we're getting in the thick of it here. Let's find a target and shoot him down. Got him! I actually shot him. Amazing. Iberian horse, I can't ride you. <laughs> horse bandit fell unconscious. That's funny. Ooh, that's not good. Gotta be careful. Damn, I hit him pretty hard, but he still managed to live and then get me. Thought he'd move. Oh, there's a lot of them here on my tail. Oh, you little! That wasn't meant to happen. It hadn't. I thought it hadn't loaded. Nope, nope. You shall not kill me. Okay, things are going badly. No, I'm down. Oh, let's not hope we get captured. This would be bad. Come on, guys, you can win. No, not the drill master. That dude's epic. Thank you. 
Uh, our men are dropping one by one. We've hardly killed any of them. Yep, looks like we're going to be captured again, ladies and gentlemen. Say hello to our old friend imprisonment. <laughs> we are a slave yet again. And I can't even see the rest of the battle play out because it's over there somewhere. Oh, here we go. We can sort of see it. Looks like our men are running away. <laughs> you damn cowards, stand and fight. Yep. We lost. We only killed five of them and wounded one. Yeah, damn it. Took me prisoner. That's what you get when you try and go help your wife. <laughs> you get imprisoned, ladies and gentlemen. Alright. We are currently imprisoned. Huh. Let's see if we can get the administration to let me go. Administrator, well, well, well. What do we have here? What do you want, slave? <clears throat> I wasn't always a slave, sir. I've got some savings that I wish to do ransom myself. How quaint. Technically, this isn't against the rules. But I could look the other way if you get me interested enough. Say, how would you value your freedom? Your, how, mu ugh, how much would you value your freedom? Is it worth 65,000 piastres? I don't have that. Um, if you just let me go, I'll return with the coin promptly. Honest. What? You take me for a fool or something? I repeat, your freedom costs 91,000 piastres. What? I can't... Oh, I see. I can't pay that much. Stop wasting my time. I won't be as generous next time. Guards, take him out. Sorry, sir. Send a message to your supporters. What is this? I've never seen that option before. Am I like... Oh, that must be because I've got a party. One of the guards orders you to follow him to the offices of the administrator. When you arrive, the facilities manager offers you a glass of wine and apologizes for mistreatment. It appears you are recognized and word about your captivity has reached the ear of his employer, who has who was incessed by the news and demanded that you be released at once. Yes! <laughs> With great many apologies, you are escorted outside and provided with some money and equipment to help you on the road. Lovely! Brilliant! What did they give me? 300 piastres and an infantry broadsword like I had before, old flintlock pistols, some light bullets, basically the same gear I had before but just not too bad and we're actually better off now which is kind of fun, <laughs> funny as hell. And we're still down on our province, so yeah, we're, we're not that bad off. Nice. <laughs> awesome. Let's give that a save and see if we can make it back to Pomeroon. Or go in there for literally no reason. Supply train, we got three corned beef. Whoops, we lost all that food that we had before. Oopsie. 18 natives or 22 band, horse bandits. Yeah, let's avoid like everyone. Ooh, here's our wife from the Thug Life Kingdom. You've encountered Luis's party of one troops ready for battle against their 37. What the hell? I don't want to fight my wife. Yes, my husband? <clears throat> what is your bidding? Hmm. 
I have a new task for you. I need your company here with me. You can count on me being near when you need of me, sir. Awesome. Let's leave. Is she going to follow us now? Yes, she is. Excellent. We got some extra warriors then. Let's make it back to our province. Oh, hello, natives. Native hunters. Yes, let's charge them. Everybody charge straight from the jump and let's go. Man, this buccaneer dress looks disturbingly like girly. Give me your armor. <laughs> She's better equipped than me. <laughs> Battle has already been joined. Look at that. They're getting mown down. I'm not even going to get a piece of this, am I? <laughs> One guy left. Where is he? Over there. Way over there. Oh, they got. She's got a gunner. That means she can use cannons. Not bad. Ooh, we got a captive. Nice. Let's go attack some more native hunters. Uh, yep. Let's let's um hang back on that for a sec because <laughs> we can't beat them one versus eleven. Not when I'm equipped the way I am. Oh, the way he runs is so funny looking. Administrator, I'm here with a slave. Awesome, 800. Later, dude. Let's go to Pomeroon. Oh, what's going down here? Oh, they're not attacking us. That's okay. We're good then. Oh, there's a lot of slaves here, actually. Huh. Luis, have you been capturing people? You have, haven't you? That's awesome. We're going to take as many of them as we can. And now we're going to go back ashore. What is this? A patrol of ours? Nice. And then we're going to go back over to the plantation and sell all the slaves.
Hey, six tribal axemen escaped? What the hell? How is that even possible? Uh, punks. You would have sold so good. How the hell did they escape is what I want to know. Bruh, I got some prisoners for you. Sold. Make a fortune from selling prisoners. <laughs> let's bring along. Let's bring along a party of um, cavalry with us, so that we can move swiftly, but also have a detachment to protect us with. Because they're not really that much use when they're in the city, to be honest. Much more useful outside the city. Alright, that's all of them. Cavalry, cavalry. Apoboussiers, you'll be going to become a cavalry. Reassign your ass. Squared away with our cavalry detachment. We'll come back for the rest of you. Uh, yeah, honey, we don't. We don't need you to follow us around anymore. Control our holdings at Pomeroon. Good job. Have fun, wife. Let's go back into the plantation and make a crap load of money from selling slaves at $800 a pop. That way I'll definitely be able to refit myself and get new men to fight for me. Oh, that's good. We rise from the ashes of defeat. Who knows, we might even be able to go straight back to, um, oh hell yeah, it's over 30 grand. Um, we might even be able to go straight back to Providence and attack it. That'd be good. Which money do I have right now? Over 51,000? That's awesome. <laughs> Alright, back into the fort. Let's manage the garrison. You're coming with me, as are you guys. Oh wow, they've got more cavalry here. Thanks, I'll just take them all. <laughs> Why are they even getting more cavalry? <clears throat> go ashore and head straight back to the plantation and to the facility. This will be great. Oh, three trouble skirmishes escaped, damn it. Yeah, this will be great because um, we'll have a lot of money generated from our industry here at the plantation and at the farm. Because they'll have a huge war workforce now. After all the guys we've been dumping on them. I'm back, brother. We've got some more. Yep. I would have had a few more, but they flipping escaped. Somehow. I'm not really sure how, but they did. Oh, we've got another patrol here. Ah, 
I wonder, do I need to... Do I need to rearm my ships? No, they've got ammo for days. What about crew? They're fully stocked. Okay then. Let's check out the tavern real quick. Nope, nobody we want. How about our garrison? Who can we hire? So we have a lot of horsemen. Mm. Now I got 60 grand here, what the hell? Might as well as get these veteran elite marines. They seem like the all-purpose warrior at the moment. Yeah, we get 17 of them, good. So we should have a very strong force to fight with now. Against pretty much anyone. Put some meat on the wagon. I thought we could carry 30 before. Oh well. It is what it is. Let's take a dip into the market and see what we can pull out. Balanced flanged mace. Matchlock musket. Hmm. The speed rating is awful. If I was going to get it, I would get it with the bayonet attached as well. Large bags of bullets are absolutely essential. I'm going to go with this bent rich flintlock carbine and sell the old pistol. Let's go to the horse merchant, see what we can scrounge up. Basically, nothing because our horsemanship is rubbish, apparently. I uh, know, not there. Let's go to the armor. Ooh. Ooh. Hello. Here we come. Nice. Now it's going to be incredibly hard for them to hit me. Let's get some other lordly attire. Sturdy riding boots. They're better, and they look cooler too. How about some gloves? You got gloves? No gloves. Damn. Guess I'll just have to steal some gloves from a dead guy. Anyways, that went really well. We've been outfitted just fine. Nice. Awesome. And so when we come back now, we're going to just run around, I guess, and attack some raiding natives and other bandits and stuff within our kingdom in this general area. Hope you guys have enjoyed. And my name is edogs 82 And I've enjoyed playing this with you, and I'm going to sign out right now. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one.
Bye. Thank <laughs> you.